have set up here is a piece of filter paper with two crocodile clips connected to it. The crocodile clips are going to be connected to a high voltage power supply. We're going to put some potassium permanganate here and what we want you to do is measure how long it takes for the manganese, the manganate ions to move up here. You'll see the movement of manganese and manganate ions by the movement of the purple colour that denotes the ions themselves. So, we're going to put some potassium permanganate just at the base of this line and you can see how quickly it spreads. So I'll just put some on the start line. And I'll turn the VHT supply on now. The small gradations are two millimeters apart. The large gradations are six mils apart. And you can see already the purple manganate ions are beginning to move. So already it's up to the first six mil millimeter mark. have set up here is a piece of filter paper with two crocodile clips connected to it. The crocodile clips are going to be connected to a high voltage power supply. We're going to put some potassium permanganate here and what we want you to do is measure how long it takes for the manganese, the manganate ions to move up here. You'll see the movement of manganese the manganate ions by the movement of the purple colour that denotes the ions themselves. So I'm going to put some potassium permanganate just at the base of this line and you can see how quickly it spreads. So I'll just put some on the start line. And I'll turn the VHT supply on now. The small gradations are two millimeters apart, the large gradations are six mils apart. And you can see already the purple manganate ions are beginning to move. So already it's up to the first six mil millimeter mark.
when you're measuring something like this, judge the edge consistently. So take the same part of the purple manganese color and use that as your indicator. It may not be the most furthest forward part, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. It's probably easier to use the purple color which is on the baseline where the gradations are. If you want to use the other line, remember it's going at an angle so you may have certain problems determining what part of the velocity is actually going in the direction of the positive electrode. Of course the positive electrode is on the right as you're watching this video. So it's gone 8-10 millimeters already. Of course from this calculation the drift velocity for the charged particles can be calculated. That's the V which you'll see in I equals NAVE. Um, we're not going to do I equals NAVE on this experiment itself, mainly because we don't have a current and we don't have a cross-sectional area of the um, conductor, it being the uh, filter paper. Um, in principle you could do this, um, that calculation for this, the other thing that we don't know, of course, as well, is the number of charge carriers um, per unit volume. It's basically reached the last gradation, so you should have done your last measurement. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been useful.